Even four decades on, the theme tune still sticks in the mind. And who can forget the main characters in this horsey drama? The adorable Dora and the handsome Steve, a local lad born in Bradford. Fast forward 40 years, and Dora and Steve today came back to Stockeld Park near Weatherby, one of the locations for the series. And they returned to the old house with fond memories. Oh, it's brilliant. I mean, can you imagine being paid to come up back home to Yorkshire and to ride horses around beautiful countryside? That horse is going to be crippled for life if he's not careful. Well, we've got to do something. We'll think of something. Come on. Follyfoot would not be able to be made now. Health and safety, we never wore hats. <laughs> Steve and I, towards the end, were doing our own stunts and this. It would just be impossible. You couldn't make the same programme and have the same flavour. And there are a set of back stairs through there. Susie Grant, whose family now own the estate, gave the stars a tour of the house, along with a group of Follyfoot fans. For them, one of whom came from Finland, this was a dream come true. I saw the TV series in Finland in, I think it was 72, it was aired the first year. I was five and I still remember the first episodes. It's just wonderful, the whole thing, the, the, the music, the ponies. It wasn't a kids' programme at all. It, it was far more than that. And, uh, of course, uh, Steve Hodson might have had a little bit to do with it as well. Jane Royston, who looked after the horses on the shows, has just written a book about the series. A lot of people liked horses, children liked horses, and it was a different angle to a lot of, like, your black beauties and white horses and things like that. Hello. You're up early. It's young Miss Trouble here. No one told her it was Sunday. Dora and Steve's TV writing days may be over, but as for the fans, well, they, I suspect, will want to come back for the 50th anniversary. Surely.